Hey guys, what's up? We are That Horror Couple. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Rob. And we are here to do another fun review for you guys today. Bodies, bodies, bodies. And Kaylee asked me not to bring this up, but I'm going to. Okay. On the way here, Kaylee was driving and she, uh, the GPS told her to make a left turn the last minute. And so she, she swerved into the left lane and almost killed some guy. And <laughs> the guy, we met him at the next light and, and he looked at me, he was on my side. He looked at me like all pissed off. And uh, and I was just like, sorry, sir. <laughs> it's her. She's driving her. No. Yeah. I'm telling you. There, Who would you guys believe, me or him? Dude, <laughs> there was almost bodies, bodies, bodies on the fucking highway. Oh, yeah. Rich 20-somethings plan a hurricane party at a remote family mansion. A party game turns deadly in this fresh and funny look at backstabbing fake friends and one party gone very, very wrong. Directed by Helena Rain, starring Amandala Steinberg, Maria Baklova, Rachel Sinnott, Chase Suey Wonders, and Pete Davison. Okay, okay, we literally just got back from the theaters. Yes. This is fresh on our yes. minds. Mm -hmm. So like, what do we like? What do we dig? Tell you what I like. In the theaters, when we saw this, we walked in and there was like some like 80 something year old couple, maybe like, yeah, they, they were yeah, like, yeah, they had to be like 80. They yeah. were like an older couple, so mm -hmm. I'm like, these people are like so hip watching this movie, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, like, <laughs> the movie starts off with like these two like chicks start making out and kissing, and I'm like, this is so not their generation, oh god, no. oh god, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then it kicks into this like rap song, and it's like, I'm dirty and I fuck, I'm dirty and I fuck. <laughs> I'm dirty and I fuck, ah, uh, fuck, and I'm dirty. And then they literally got up and they walked out. Yes, I think they, they thought they were in the theater for another movie. I think they went to the wrong theater, sat down, and realized what that it was the wrong movie. And they were like, oh, like they, they immediately got up, walked out. I was like, wow, okay, uh, yeah. They're not a fan of A24. I like, I like for me is, uh, yeah. The two chicks kissing. Yeah, the there you go. There you go. <laughs> I actually really liked uh, <laughs> Sophie and uh, B. I thought they were great characters, and they were uh, my two favorites of the film. I thought they were great, especially Sophie. I loved her. Yeah. And everybody that says, like, oh, nowadays there's so many messages about, like, couples and, like, relationships and, like, all this woke stuff. Mm -hmm. And I say there's nothing wrong with that as long as it's two hot chicks making out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. I love I love that they rep that there was a representation I feel like for generation for Gen Z like this was a perfect representation of these young adults coming up nowadays like yeah, for that gener generation the way they spoke in this movie the way they acted I feel like a lot of these kids nowadays like this is a perfect like I said a perfect representation like the dialogue the, just the you know the back and forth between all yeah, of them Yeah I felt like the dialogue was very genuine I forget mm -hmm. like the, the whole story is they get together and they meet up at that, that one guy. This is his parents' like mansion, yeah, Pete, right? David. His name yeah. is David. This Pete guy David. David's character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they all get together at at his parents' mansion, mm -hmm. and I, yeah, like I said, I felt like it was like the Gen Z kids of today, the young kids of today. But I felt like um, the dialogue was very genuine. Yes. I felt like they were using terms that felt real. Yes. Uh, they were using slang that like felt you know, and because I'm so like with it with the generation, oh, young yeah. generation, mm -hmm. I knew I knew exactly what they were talking about. Yes. Well, I hang out with winter moats too. Yeah, so they <laughs> that does help. You know, she's like fire, fire. <laughs> you know, that that's facts. Period. Yeah. Period. I did like that older guy too. Oh, uh, Lee was, Pace's there, character there of Greg one, was great. There was one old guy with with the crew, and I thought he was he was pretty good too. He was supposed to be forty, which they considered like old. I mean, come on, but... Your sister's like... He's like 40. Yeah. <laughs> that is old to those kids, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, um, but he was great. I remember him most from playing Ronan from Guardians of the Galaxy, so it was really cool to see him in this, in an A24, like, horror comedy movie. Like, that yeah. was great. He did... He had a great, like... He added a lot to the film, and I loved his character. The characters did have personality and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And they did, um... 
they were likable, but I did I didn't know too much about them because this story didn't waste a lot of time with backstories. No, they went they got right to like everybody just got together and mm -hmm. they got right into it. So yeah. this this film like wasted no time. No, they jumped right into the story and uh, you know the chaos starts ensuing. And then they just start to they they decide to play this game bodies bodies bodies. Yes, I really love the setting of the film, um, the secluded setting of a mansion in the middle of nowhere during a hurricane of all things. That makes the characters really secluded, really isolated. It, it adds to the creepy factor of there's no one coming to help you, it and then there's a murder on the loose. And also, if there's no service on your cell phone, you're oh fucked. yeah, you're fucked. Yeah. You can't even call nine one one. Like especially during uh, during a hurricane, they're not coming for you. No, <laughs> but like would have to be the, the the deaths were pretty pretty awesome. Yeah. very gory scenes, very yes. gory scenes, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it was spot on. Yes. And, uh, yeah, it, it looked really good to me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, li I like the, the the death scenes. They were creative. They were different. They were also like believable and cool. So I really enjoyed them. I really like the complicated relationships between all the characters. And as the the story unfolds, uh, you know, you see the animosity between certain characters, and it builds and builds and builds, and just really adds to the story and adds to the the plot to let you know exactly what's going on why these characters are getting so aggravated with each other you know things start to come to the surface and it's just really interesting to see that unfold it is interesting and like i said we didn't get much of a backstory on these characters but mm -hmm. as they're playing the game bodies 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 yeah what happens is the, like bodies start getting kicked, like picked off one by one kind, yeah. of, kind of like slasher film style yeah yeah and that's kind of like when we got a background of the characters mm -hmm. kind of when they started turning on each other yeah when they started turning on each other they kind of started talking shit yeah and that's when we were they were like they we, we found out who was who mm -hmm. where everybody came from mm -hmm. what everybody's story was yes. who's banging who mm -hmm. we found out like all the drama all the yes. dirt and yeah but there's a lot of drama in this too there, there was if you're there a was. drama fan like you might like this too yeah oh, no, she yeah didn't. <laughs> As far as dislikes of the film, um, I really, really enjoyed this film, so it's hard for me to really point, like, pinpoint, like, you know, certain things I disliked, but there was one character, um, Alice, <laughs> who was, like, really whiny and annoying, and she really frustrated me, um, so she kept bringing up, like, her, she brought up, like, she had body dysphoria and, like, a very, like, Oh, yeah. Bad moment to bring that up when they're talking about something way more serious. Is that the loud girl with the whiny voice? Yes, yeah. yes. She was, she, that, that actress did a good job playing an annoying, <laughs> like, annoying whiny girl, she like, a, spoiled rich brat. She had, a, yeah. she had, like, a glow light, light around her neck. Yeah, too. and they're, like, yeah, like, once they thought there was a killer in the house, she still had that shit on her neck. And I'm like, you know, he could, they could see you. Like, why do you still have that on your neck? Anyway, she's just, she's like one of those, look at me, I'm so awesome and rich and all these things. So she's really annoying, so... Right, right. We're on dislikes. In the yes. Film? Mm -hmm. One thing I don't like about this film is, uh, the, if you look at IMDb, you look around at some of the reviews or some of like a, like what's up on the internet a lot. It's considered a horror comedy, and mm -hmm. like, what exactly was funny about this? Ah, uh, there I, were some scenes that were yeah, pretty but, funny. I think it's but supposed it wasn't, to be. It wasn't like a silly movie to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. To me, it was more like a slasher film. Yeah, it was like a it was a slasher, but there had, there is some there was a lot of comedic elements in oh, it. Oh no, there, I think, there was. So. Like there were certain characters characters and funny dialogue mm -hmm. but like i wouldn't the, the movie wasn't silly to me no i wouldn't consider this like a killer clowns from outer space or something no like, not at all yeah. Uh, yeah it wasn't like a silly movie at all so no, yeah horror comedy to you know it, to me there were slasher elements there was drama between the crew and it's more there, like a horror drama there was gore so it was definitely horror mm -hmm. so, but i don't consider this a horror comedy yeah i really don't like so i wouldn't consider it that another dislike is um I thought they captured this shit, like the generation of young kids pretty well, but I feel like they went like overboard a little bit. I think that with, was maybe the point. With the partying, yeah. like yeah. there was like a lot of, there was a lot of cocaine and there was mm -hmm. a lot of like smoking, drinking stuff and there was a lot of like, uh, I don't know, I don't, not that it bothers me, but I feel like a lot of it was focused on that. And I, I'm like, I think the reason they did, I think, I think they were trying to, to kind of, it was like satir, uh, satirical in some like that's a word right don't use words like <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about it was kind of a satire at some point i need a dictionary yeah. when i talk to you a it dictionary was... and plenty of airbags in my car yeah. <laughs> it was kind of a satire at some points i feel like with the dialogue with the way they portrayed the kids like doing the, the all these drugs and everything because mm -hmm. you know that's not always the case just like for me was i i appreciated how the film wasted no time and got right into the story mm -hmm. but like i said like you really the characters were were, not, were cool, good, good actors, good cast, but like, they kind of didn't. Have, I, I didn't know anything about these characters till yeah. the very end. Yeah. Till the true. very end, I'm like, oh, this girl got out of rehab. Oh, this girl's banging this girl. Oh, yeah. this girl. Like till till the end. So this whole movie, 
I was like, who's that again? Who's that again? It mm -hmm. was kind of hard to follow the characters okay. for me a little bit. Okay. So. As far as final thoughts of the film, I would have to give this film a 7 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a fun, different kind of slasher movie. Um, I, I like the whole premise. I like the characters. Or at least most of the characters. <laughs> so I'd have to give it a 7 out of 10. Final thoughts. Should we talk about how this whole thing wrap, wrap, wrapped up? Uh, the crazy twist yeah, ending? Yeah, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert. Um, so don't continue watching if you haven't seen or you don't want to be spoiled. Um, the first, the, the guy, David, the character of David, played by Pete Davidson, he was the first body to drop. Like, he had a slash in his neck. He looked like someone had slit his throat. Oh. And at the end, we see Sophie and B, and they are looking at his phone, and he actually acci he accidentally killed himself because he was trying to do a trick with a, with a bottle with a, with a sword that Greg had done the same trick, like, earlier in the day. And he was, you know, on drugs and pissed off. So, he tried to do it. And he, you know, slit his own killed, throat. Yeah. yeah. So, that was what caused the whole, like, situation, confusion. And, and the, I thought it was a great ending. And from there, the girls go on accusing each other. Mm -hmm. Who did what? They wind up killing each other. Yeah. So, there's, like, you know, one or two people left. Yeah. And that's the movie. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know... I what I was thinking, I'm like, this guy might have faked his own death. Because I was thinking there's something weird going on with the twist. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't exactly guess it, but I knew something was up. But, uh, so it kind of, like, reminded me of April Fool's Day. Yeah. In, in, in that kind of way. Yes. Like, like, what you think is going on. There's a, there's a flip at the end. Yeah. So, so, anyway, my final thoughts is awesome twist. Pretty good twist ending. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I, I like the, the gore. Mm -hmm. I like the... Um, I like the mystery aspect yes. of this film. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the characters. It felt fresh to have like a slasher film with like slang and dialogue and young kids from, from this, from day, this and day and age. Yes. And it mm -hmm. felt real. It didn't mm -hmm. feel like some older dude was like writing down the script. Yeah, and, like, yeah. It felt like these kids, these are like how kids really talk. Yeah, so, no, I agree. So it, it, was, it was good. It was good. Um, and uh, yeah, I give it, I'll give it a 7 out of 10 also. Okay, great, I, I, yeah. I, I say definitely check it out. Yes, for sure. Um, yeah, it, it was definitely good. It, it was definitely good. If you guys have seen Bodies, 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 please comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on the film. Like this video. Hit the bell. Subscribe to our channel for more awesome horror content and reviews. Once again, I'm Kaylee. And I'm Rob. And we'll see you guys next time. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor.